Morning everyone, um, welcome back to ArachnaTube. So today I'm going to be molt hunting and it uh, wasn't planned so this is a completely off the cuff video. Uh, I came in and saw this. So this is my um, paired up Bumba Horrida and as you can see it's literally just molted. I've missed it waking up this morning not what I really wanted to catch. Uh, I thought she was gonna make a, an egg sack because she's obviously, like I said, paired up. Um, what I've just noticed as well, as you can see, there's a little bit of um, the cast mold ab on the abdomen there and it's stuck on the back of the on her abdomen. It shouldn't cause an issue. But she's literally just flipped over as I was uh, as I was just pottering around in the spoiler room. So we'll leave her back, leave her be, give her a few uh, few hours and we'll come back to her. So I'm going to be uh, spending the rest of the morning pulling out every single one of the off the shelves there, having a check, doing a bit of a health check, checking for malts, fingers crossed for some egg sacs. Uh, but yeah, let's do this on a Sunday morning. <laughs> you gotta love these toads, man. I think they're absolutely awesome. Let's have a look for some more, so there's one. Oh. There's one. There's one just there. Can you see his eyes? Yeah, 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 you can see his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. Yeah, well, uh, well, good at hiding. You see more than two. Where are you going, little man? Oh, one just did a jump. Was that you? Yeah, you're there. Oh, catching flies. Absolutely awesome, you are. There's um, a male, or maybe two males, calling at the moment, and it's got a really super weird squeaky sound, <laughs> which is fun again. So by the side of me just here, this is that um, massive tank I've been working on, that Exoterra. Here it is, Lexi. Alexa, shut up. <laughs> so yeah, we need to... I've done a bit of the backgrounds on you. Lots more to do. But uh, you want to see that? I'll be showing you that in a different video. But yeah. It's coming along. Coming along. So, uh, regardless, look. So that's going to need to be rehoused on the next one, on the next molt. So okay. See the size of it? So it's like, it's doing his porky paws and it's about that long. How long is that? Trusty ruler. So diagonal leg span in the porky pose. About nearly eight centimeters. About seven centimeters and four millimeters, so seven and a half centimeters. So yeah, definitely gonna need to have that one rehoused 
out of these pots soon. I think one more malt. We even got the banding starting as well, which uh, I love to see. This one is Monosontropus balfouri. It was paired on the 15th of October this year. And I'm gonna have to do something about this because it's not drying out quick enough. So you can see like a sweat on here. And I've got some small ventilation holes all the way through the top, but they need to be bigger, obviously. Problem is, is that with it being paired, I wanted to soak it down and then dry it back out quick. And uh, it's not drying as fast as I wanted to. It's a sand, uh, coir and orchid bark mix. So it's, it should be really quick to dry. But I think I'm, uh, I need to put some bigger holes in it and I'll do some vent holes on the side as well. Um, no, I won't. I'll do them at the top. Just cover the top at the moment. So yeah, 15th of October, 2022. <clears throat> so this little filata is definitely molted. About three times the size of last time I saw it. It's got a small pair of tweezers here. There we go. <laughs> okay, coming out then, is it? Oh, there we go. So much bigger than I thought. And that was um, a 1.5 centimeter spidling. What seems like just the other day. To a nice furry little bastard. That's what you in there. Uh, let's have a look at this. This is um, an adult female Posithiri Vitata. And she was paired on the 28th of September this year. And if we zoom in, we can have a look at her abdomen is massive so I'm looking for a uh, <coughs> egg sack for September October November December January January or February probably so keep an eye out let's do a bit of spot cleaning look there is uh, a bunch of food boluses and poop. Just here. And there's even, oh, there's a roach by there. But there was it obviously inside the burrow, uh, the retreat, sorry, not the burrow, we yeah, do burrow a bit in my experience. But the correct term is retreat. She must have been doing some spot house maintenance, <coughs> excuse me, inside here, inside this cork bar. And I just checked out the carapace. It's pretty cool. 
Have a look at that face though. They are absolutely banging. Big girl. So she is. Well. Um, let's get my ruler out again, is it? Rough ruler time. Let's see about seven, six and a half inches. Seven inches. Oh, go on, Dan, where are you going? Nice. And she ate the, the meal. And she's been eating ever since. She will never refuse. And if I look on this side, you saw me clean all these enclosures the other day. All this here, down this side, is all shite. All the postal theory of fecal matter. Let's see if I can do that. No. So I know that she's working, you know what I mean? She's not impacted. Um, so that abdomen growth size is uh, more than likely full of eggs. Okay, let's take some, uh, oh, yeah, some real care getting this one down. Right. Um, I can pop you there for now. No, you don't fit. I'll just take you there for now. Uh, oh, hold on. Now this is one that I'm not going to open the, the front for and you'll see why in a sec. So this one is Tigrina Wasali. And she's mated, paired up on the 15th of August, okay? And the reason I'm not opening this uh, enclosure, right, and I'm gonna put her back straight away Uh, for this reason here. So, you see here, so she's webbed the front like that, like an, a bowl, started webbing the bottom like a bowl here. Right, this is going to be, all this area here, right, will just be thick and dense on the side as well, it goes all the way back diagonal there, and this one goes down here. So this is egg sac laying behaviour, okay? Uh, increase webbing, especially in that bowl shape. 
Oops, yeah. Like that. Okay, and porkies will start to do this probably about a month to two months before they actually lay. You know, these are spiders at the end of the day, right? There's nothing absolutely set in stone or scientific really about it. But you just gotta look out for the signs. So that's a really, really awesome sign. And now I, I am a, a proponent, so I do try to advocate the uh, uh, breeding loans or 50-50s with people. Uh, but this one is uh, from with my own male. So the Vitata was a, a loaned male, so half of those uh, will go to the owner of the male. But this one here is mine. So fingers crossed for me. I honestly, with this species, Tigrino Sally, right, I will probably will not sell any. I'll just grow them all on myself. And they, with the coloration is why you can see that they are my one of my favorite pokers of all time. Look at that. Iridescent, purpley blue, like a Singapore blue almost. Absolutely lush. All right, so that's just a few. Um, I'll keep you dangling on a hook <laughs> and I'll do the rest, I'll carry on going. Uh, it really does massively slow me down, uh, making sure I'm recording, uh, obviously with sound, making sure everything looks good, making sure the spiders are safe, you know. Um, so just doing a few takes an hour, whereas I can do the whole room in 10 minutes on my own. <laughs> so I'll carry on um, and I'll see you soon. You take care. Stay safe.